Welcome back to my channel. Well, I am here with a super exciting video, you guys. I've been waiting to do this video for a little while now. I was waiting for one last item to arrive and it did. It's a Chanel unboxing, you guys. I have three items that I recently purchased that I want to share with you all and I want to tell you all about them. If you want to see what I bought from Chanel and my thoughts on them, just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, like I said, I have three items here. So the one on the top here is a bag, so I'm gonna leave that for last. And I'm going to start with the other two items here, which are also super, super gorgeous. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these. I posted a small unboxing on Instagram. This is why you need to follow me on Instagram, you guys, because Instagram gets the news first before I post anything on YouTube. So, so let's start with the first item. So you guys, here she is. This, you guys, is a pair of sunglasses. There you go. So I've already opened this. You know, I did the unboxing, like I said, on Instagram. So I'm going to do it here on YouTube again for you all. So this is a pair of sunglasses you guys so here's the box I'm going to take it out of its casing here so this is what the box looks like you guys so I will take it out now now if you guys watched my birthday New York City shopping spree vlog you saw me going into Chanel in New York on Madison Avenue I tried on a pair of gorgeous tortoise shell sunglasses that they were out of stock in the store they only had the display model and they don't usually sell the display model and I'm not really sure I wanted the display model anyway so he told me like the SA there told me just go online and order it online and which is what I did and this came like weeks ago you guys but I was ordering two more items which I have here so I wanted to wait till I got all of them for me to do this unboxing so this I had for a while now okay so let me take the the case out now so inside here before I show you the case it comes with this little you know booklet with all the information about the item and Chanel and all that and then here is the gorgeous sunglass case it's leather so it's quilted on the back just like the handbags very beautiful and that's what it looks like from the side now I'm gonna go ahead and take the sunglasses out you guys so that's what it looks like inside with the, the tags are still on I haven't even you know removed the tags or anything yet um, so it comes with this cute little white cloth to wipe the sunglasses with then it has Chanel on it it's really cute love it actually so this is what it looks like it's not cute I mean just the cloth to wipe with is adorable you guys look at that it's not cute so that's in there and here she is this is her you guys it's tortoise shell you guys but the lights are kind of shining on it and making it look black it's actually a gorgeous tortoise shell I really wish these lights were better. Anyway, it's gorgeous and it's a tortoise shell. I don't know if you guys can see it. I mean, I can see the light shine through it on my end. These are just stunning. Look at the side, you guys. You have the CC logo there and this gorgeous detail on the side in gold. Ah, tortoise shell and gold is just a match made in heaven. So I'm gonna take this tag off now and take this casing off. I have tried this on just a couple times, but I wanted to wait. Oh, you guys, look at that. Is that hot or what? Oh, I love it. I love Chanel sunglasses, actually. I've always liked Chanel sunglasses, and I love the size. It's like a, a decent size. It's not like too massive, and it really suits my face. Look at that on the side. And I like the fact that this tortoise shell, it's tortoise shell, but you know, it's not too like light. Uh, you know, it almost kind of looks black. See, you have to really 
like the lights kind of make it look black but outside it looks very much tortoise shell but it's a very kind of a dark tortoise shell which makes it really 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 classy and gorgeous wow i am loving these you guys do you love it do you like how they look on me please let me know down in the comment section i i would love to hear from you guys this is still available on chanel.com which is where i got it from they like i said the store um had run out of them it, it was sold out in the store in new york anyway well here in the dc store i i didn't ask them because i had already ordered it by the time i went into the dc chanel here in dc we have a new chanel store in dc you guys oh isn't that stunning oh my god love 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 these they're very sturdy you can tell they're super durable they're gonna last a long time and they frame the face really well and hug the face in the, like the most comfortable way possible they like stay put like let's say i'm wearing this and i'm in a convertible without the top you don't have to worry i mean it's gonna stay on you even if you were going through like a tornado you know like seriously it is really nice and at the same time very comfortable it sits on my nose bridge perfectly love it i mean this also comes in black but i wanted the tortoise shell what why because i'll show you next why these are 560 dollars i know they're expensive but it's like a kind of a lifetime pair of sunglasses unless of course i lose them which tend to happen so i'm gonna have to be careful it's very sturdy you can tell it's gonna be durable it depends on whether you want to splurge on a chanel pair of sunglasses or not i guess yeah it is expensive i realize that but they are just so gorgeous that i had to have them you guys i just have to make sure that i don't lose them and how cute is this cloth by the way oh my god even the White bean cloth is really cute. <laughs> Leave it to Chanel. Then I have another item that I want to share with you guys. It's this one right here. Can you guess what this one is? You guessed it. It's also a pair of sunglasses. Yes, you guys, I went a little nuts with the sunglasses. These are pretty penny, I tell you. So this is what the box looks like. I already opened this. Like I said, I did the unboxing on Instagram for you guys. Um, I first posted a picture of them in the boxes and then I did an unboxing on Instagram. So here you go, you guys. So I'll take it out of the casing, just like before. So let me get it out. It's the same pretty much it's a little different actually from the other case now I realize it so this one has like the Chanel logo here in the corner and this one has it right on the front so this is actually I believe from a, a collection before this one so that's why the cases are different um, so yeah so the Chanel logo is here on the corner on this one same thing with the quilted um, back and these ones i'm so excited about you guys these are so cool oh my god let me take the tag off first before i show you guys so i took the tag off so look at these you guys do you see that it says chanel on the sides on both sides so this side and this side Look how cute that is. Let me bring it closer to the, can you see? It looks really, really gorgeous. It actually looks like little pearls almost, you know, and I love these. These look like 1950s, 60s Jackie O type glasses, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. I just love this detail on the side with Chanel written out like that instead of just the logo. And it's on this side as well. How cool is that? I mean, look at how well they go with my earrings. 
my Chanel earrings. Oh, this is so classic looking, like the the 50s, 60s, kind of the old Hollywood or Jackie O type, you know, glasses. I just love, 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 love the way these look on my face. They are really perfect for my face shape. It's not stunning, you guys. I am loving these. So these are black. That's why I didn't get that other one in black because I wanted to get these in black. And this pair was more expensive. This one is $680 or $690, I forget. Yeah, they're $680 or $690, something like that, $680. This one's more expensive than the other one, which was $560. Yeah, so yeah, this, this pair was more expensive, and I actually like these even more than the other pair. Ah, oh, they look so good, you guys. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Well, you guys, I'm very happy with my purchase. For sure, both purchases. I think they're going to last a very long time if I don't lose them, of course. Now for the last even more exciting item. This one is a Chanel bag, you guys. There she is, I already unboxed this. That's why the bow is not properly tied. Um, like I said, it's on Instagram. You can see that I posted it before. So I have the camellia here. Apparently these camellias, now these are fabric camellias. Apparently they're going to change them into some kind of paper camellias or something. Like from a, some kind of re recycled material. So yeah, the, the fabric camellias are going to be gone, apparently. I heard somewhere, but I don't know if it's true or not. But anyway, here it is. Here's the box. Now let me tell you the story on this. So you guys... I wanted so much to buy these cute bags from like the 2021 spring summer collection. Those gorgeous pastel ones, the lambskin ones. Uh, I wanted to buy those but I was a little late to the game and by the time I looked for them they were all sold out. It was sold out, all sold out in New York for sure. And the new Chanel in DC, when they opened, they didn't even have the spring summer collection anymore, obviously, because they opened in July. So they weren't even carrying the spring summer collection anymore. They only like had like the fall collection, which I don't really care for. I really loved the spring summer collection. You guys, the one thing about me is that I don't buy something just because it's Chanel or just because it's Dior, or just because it's Valentino. I don't care. For me to buy something, it has to be super, super, super cute. If it doesn't look good, if it doesn't make me look good when I wear it, I don't buy it. If it looks ugly, like for example, to be quite honest, I don't really care for some of the Louis Vuitton monogram bags, you guys. I, I think some of them can be pretty unattractive, really. So I would never buy it just because it's Louis Vuitton, okay? I don't do that. I'm not one of those people who think if I bought designer items, I'm gonna look classy or I'm gonna suddenly be classier than I am or something like that. Class cannot be bought, you guys. It's just something you have. And no matter how many designer bags you have, you're not gonna have class if you don't already have it. So I don't do that. For example, you guys, I don't think the Lady Dior, you know, Lady Dior, which is super popular, everybody is buying it. I didn't buy it because I don't think it looks cute. And you can tell, I, I mean, I looked at the bag several times. I, you know, wanted to see if it's actually cute. It's so impractical the way the bag is, like the flap that's in there, it's super, impractical it's very um, rigid the bag is very rigid you can't fit much in like the smaller sizes it's very kind of a rigid bag and the two handles like the top handles that it has so so annoying they keep flapping like falling onto the sides like this impractical bag that doesn't even look cute thought about buying it and I'm like I'm not gonna buy this just because it's Lady Dior or Dior made it or 
Princess Diana wore it, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not buying it to look classy, you know, I'm not buying it to look wealthy, I'm not buying it to look rich. I buy things if they're cute. That's when I buy designer items. So if you guys saw my New York City birthday vlog, I went on a shopping spree, I went into Chanel, and like I said, they were all sold out of every bag, even the classic flap, they were sold out of the caviar. Um, classic flap. So I put myself down uh, for the caviar classic flap for the medium size medium and small I believe. Yeah, and uh, they still haven't called me you guys, but I tell you what When they do call me, I'm not sure if I want it anymore because I did a lot more thinking The classic flap to me like the black one the caviar classic flap is not even all that cute when you compare it to let's say like the spring summer collection the pastel ones that, that are so feminine and cute that they came out with that I missed the boat on right those were really cute I would have bought them in a heartbeat like this but I was too late to the game so I'm having second thoughts if I even want to buy it anymore just a couple of years ago I would say two three years ago a classic flap was four thousand three four thousand dollars less than what they're selling it for today like a, a medium sized classic flap is almost eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars almost after tax and everything eight thousand dollars you guys why would i buy the classic flap for eight thousand dollars when i can buy two or three of better looking cute amazing other designer bags like valentino i love valentino bags balenciaga i mean i can buy those I, I can buy two of those for the price of chanel classic flat why would i buy it so i'm kind of having second thoughts on it i don't know like i haven't decided yet but guess what because all these cuter bags from previous collections were sold out you guys I hunted one down, an absolutely authentic, 100% authentic one from a reseller site, brand new, brand spanking new for almost $800 more, more than the price Chanel sold it for originally when it was first released. This was like $2,700 something when it first released on Chanel website that was the price indicated and I bought it for like $3,600 so I paid way more and yes yes you guys I'm aware I'm aware it's a bad deal but it's brand new it's 100% authentic I got it from a very reputed reseller it's 100% authentic they have a 100% money back guarantee I have the authenticity card it's brand new the bag hasn't hadn't been even opened the, the tags are still on the the covers are still on everything. I don't re really like used ones. I was so lucky to find a brand new one that was untouched, but I had to pay $800 more than the original price that Chanel sold it for. But anyway, let me shut up and show you the bag. So let me get it out. So you guys, this is she. Oh my God. Isn't she pretty? Oh, look at that, you guys. So you guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Here she is. Oh my God, is she gorgeous. It's got this gorgeous pearl shoulder strap, you guys. Oh my God, you guys, isn't that the most beautiful thing ever? Look at this, so this is calf skin, by the way. This is the cat skin quilted about pearl handle clutch. It's actually a clutch technically, but you know, it's a shoulder bag. It's a crossbody bag um, that you can put crossbody or you can just put it over your shoulder. So it still has the original tag, you guys, that the original um, purchase tag here, but I had to pay, yeah, like almost $800 more than the price of this originally I, I understand I know I'm not stupid I get it's a bad deal and actually if I had waited longer I actually found this again for even less I get I kind of spent too much really I found it for like I think uh, 400 500 dollars less later but anyway I'm not gonna worry about that right now I just love this bag it looks so so cute 
I just love the way these pearls look, you guys, with this gorgeous little clutch. As you can see, the the cover is still on, you know, on the CC logo there. It's still on. It hasn't been removed or anything. And let me show you the inside. So I'll open it up like this. So inside you get the authenticity card. So here it is. That's a truly authentic Chanel item. This is the authenticity card. So inside I already also have the, um, the original Chanel tags right there. So here is what it looks like on the inside. It's quite spacious for such a small bag, you guys, honestly. And it says, let me open it up a little bit more. So, and then it says inside here, made in Italy. Um, this is a really beautiful, soft calfskin leather. Um, the only thing is I'm gonna have to be careful not to get it dirty. I love to care for it very carefully and make sure to follow guidelines and clean it very carefully because you know it is white and it will get dirty if I'm not careful. So I have to make sure that you know I just keep it clean and wiped at all times. They also had the, a brand new pink one, you guys. I thought about getting the pink one, but I decided to go with the white because the white looks so gorgeous with the gorgeous pearl shoulder strap. It just looks really cute. I just love it, you guys. It's so cute. It's, I mean, I, the leather feels so supple, the calfskin leather, so supple. Mm, it smells so good. Um, it's brand spanking new, like I said. So yeah, I've always wanted to get this with the pearl shoulder strap like this. So I'm really happy. I know a great site to buy like accessories to go with Chanel bags. I might get like a, a little like top handle type pearl handle too to attach to it. Like if I feel like just taking it, you know, just like this instead of doing crossbody or over the shoulder, I might get another pearl handle to kind of put it like a top handle. So yeah, that's what I will do with this. It's so gorgeous. It'll, it's spacious enough, you guys. It'll fit my my little wallet, uh, my lipstick, my perfume, like my travel uh, decant, you know, all that will fit just fine in here. My phone will not fit in here, but that's okay. I usually carry my phone in my hand most of the time anyway. So yeah, I mean, it'll carry what I need it to carry when I'm going out. I do plan to get more of these type of um, Chanel clutches for going out. As for the classic flap, I'm still undecided what I want to do there. I kind of want to wait, instead of buying the classic flap, I kind of want to wait and see what the spring summer 2022 collection is like. And they might come out with some really cute stuff for that with that collection, you guys. And I might just like wait and buy something from the spring, summer 2022 collection instead of going with the classic flap. You know what I mean, you guys? And when you spend that kind of money, you want it to be absolutely something you absolutely love. So I'm having second thoughts about it. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, those are the three amazing, amazing items I bought from Chanel. And I'm happy with each and every one of them, except for the price of the bag of course because I kind of overspent about I would say five hundred six hundred dollars more than what I should have paid for the bag but I did miss the boat and that's what happens when you are late to the show and then you end up spending more money unless you buy it used I guess like even then you may not buy it cheaper than what Chanel sold it for originally yeah so it's always nice to make sure to get it right away when Chanel releases it. And I'll be I'll be watching the Chanel 2022 Spring Summer Collection, you guys. I'll be ready with my paws, like waiting to jump when that comes out. Please let me know if you guys, you know, hear about it before me or something because I really wanna buy something from the Spring Summer 2022 Collection if they come out with something super cute, of course. Otherwise, no. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's helpful to you if you did enjoy it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because it really helps my channel grow 
ring that notification bell because if you don't ring the notification bell even if you subscribe it doesn't really matter they won't notify you and don't forget to follow me on instagram you guys because i post everything there first before youtube i will see you guys in my next video